channel if you're new here welcome welcome my name is Lizelle and today's video is going to be a tutorial on this look I don't know what I'm gonna call it just yet because I kind of just sat down and filmed it I didn't really know what I was gonna be filming I was just like I need to film a video right now because I'm really in the mood to be filming and yes I know I'm talking super fast I talk really quickly when I'm like excited about things <laughs> I'm feeling all kinds of extra today I curled my hair it didn't turn out the way that I wanted it to but that's okay I've got my gold hoops this crystal bralette like who am I but yeah I'm just going for a different kind of aesthetic today I don't know what I was thinking but I kind of like how it looks so if you guys enjoy this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you aren't already subscribed so you don't miss any more videos I post and yeah let's get into the tutorial i'm gonna start by priming my face usually i do like to start with my eyes but today i kind of want to be adventurous you know and start off with the face so i'm going to prime using the astralis midas touch primer this is actually one of astralis's newest products and i love it because it smells amazing and it feels so good to apply to your skin i'm going to be using a foundation that i have not touched in the longest time but it used to be one of my holy grails like my ride or die foundations this is the l'oreal infallible 24 hour matte foundation i am going to try it out again today it's been a long time since i've worn this so We'll have to see whether I like it as much as I used to. So as you can see, it's looking a tad bit ghostly on me, but that's okay. It's nothing that some powder and bronzer can't fix. Before I go ahead and do that though, I'm going to conceal and I'm gonna be using the Tarte Shape Tape. I recently talked about how I felt like this concealer didn't work for me. So I'm trying to get as much use of it as I can because I want it to work for me. I want it to work for me so bad. If you guys are wondering, the shade that I'm using is Light Medium honey the good thing about this as well is that you can totally use your concealer as a lid primer there is definitely no need to go and buy a primer that is specifically just for your lids you can totally get away with just using your concealer it will do just as good of a job now that that's all blended in I'm gonna go ahead and set it with the yellow banana shade from the Kat Von D shade and light palette and I'm just using the Sigma f35 tapered highlight brush. This is actually a highlighting brush, but I only really use it to set. So it is the perfect shape to get right into that space. I'm just looking at myself in the monitor right now. I look very ghostly, guys. We've got to do something about this. So I'm going to set the rest of my face with the Hello Flawless Pressed Powder from Benefit. My one is in the shade Petal, and I'm just going to be using the Real Techniques powder brush. This is a giant fluffy brush but it is perfect for setting the entire face. I just had the craziest sneezing fit so I'm trying to compose myself right now but I'm gonna go ahead and contour now so I'm taking this shade right here from the Kat Von D shade and light palette and I'm just using the Sigma F05 small contouring brush. I used to use this brush all the time for contouring my face. You know when you kind of go through phases when you love something and you use it all the time so you decide to try something new and then you totally forget about it? That's exactly what happened with this brush I loved it so much and then I just kind of stopped using it I'm also gonna go ahead and contour my nose as always you guys know that I love using this brush to contour my nose with if you are new here this is the eyeshading brush from look good feel better and something about this brush guys is just so perfect for contouring my nose I'm gonna go ahead and do some bronzing now you guys know what this is yes you do of course I'm using max give me sun mineralized skin finish to bronze my face with this is like my go-to bronzer guys it just I don't know something about it just works so well for me so I'm just sweeping this over my cheeks my hairline and just a little bit on my jaw and I'm using the Sigma f40 large angled contour brush I'm gonna go ahead and apply blush as well so I'm using the Tarte Amazonian clay 12 hour blush in captivating I love this shade because I feel like it is such a fun summery 
coral shade. Like I feel like this is a summer blush for sure. And I'm just gonna use the Sigma F50 Duo Fiber Brush to dust that over the apples of my cheeks. So I've zoomed you guys in because I wanna get started on my eyes. I was gonna do my highlight, but I feel like highlight is like the icing on the cake. Like you have to do your highlight last. So what I'm doing now is I'm taking my bronzer, the MAC Mineralize Give Me Sun, and I'm just gonna start by running this through my crease. I'll be using the Zoeva 221 Luxe Soft Crease Brush. So as you can see, I'm just running that back and forth through my crease all the way from the inner corner to the outer corner. I'm also gonna go ahead and apply that to the inner corner and outer corner of my eyes. I'm gonna be creating a halo eye. So to be a little more precise with it, I'm just using the Zoeva 231 Luxe Petite Crease Brush. I feel like a lot of people look past using certain products on your eyes. Like you can totally use bronzers or blushes on your eyes. I know for an everyday look, I always just run my bronzer through my crease and that's good to go. So I just wanted to show you guys that you can use your bronzer on your lids. So that shade's looking pretty good in my crease and inner corner and outer corner, but to further deepen it up, I'm gonna go into, you guys should be proud of me, like, look how clean I've kept this thing. Look how clean. Like I was saying, I'm gonna be going into the shade Cyrus Umber and I'm just using the same petite crease brush from Zueva. So I'm just gonna be taking a little bit of that and I'm going to apply it to the inner corner and outer corner of my eyes just to kind of add a little more depth and deepen up the look. I've just gone back in with my bronzer and I'm just blending at that edge because even though I am doing a halo eye, I just want everything to kind of just melt together nicely. So again, I've gone back in with that same shade that I used, pretty much my bronzer, and I'm just going to blend at the top edge. So for that middle space on my lids that I've kept blank, I'm gonna do something a little unconventional yet again, and I'm gonna use my highlighter. I feel like a lot of people overlook using highlighters as eyeshadows. I know people do eyeshadows as highlighters, Yes, it can go both ways. So I'm just gonna be taking this highlighter from Laura Geller. This is their Gilded Honey Highlighter. And I'm applying it to that middle section of my lid with the Zoeva 232 Luxe Classic Shader. Yes, that turned out even better than I expected. Oh my goodness, yes, that's so pretty. Oh my goodness, you guys, are you seeing this right now? Do you see that glow that is going on my eyes right now? Ooh, I'm just gonna quickly blend those edges just so it's not like a straight straight line on my lids Like I do love a good halo eye, but I don't want it to be just like Stripes st slapped next to each other if that makes sense. I just want it to kind of like Melt into one another. Ooh, I am living for that little highlight thing that I got going on my lids I honestly did not expect it to look that good Yes, girl I'm gonna hit my bottom lash line with some more bronzer. You guys, using bronzer for your lids on an everyday basis, even for like a glam look like this, is just totally fine. I feel like it goes really well and it kind of is like, you guys know that I like the whole monochromatic makeup look, like I like matching my cheeks to my eyes or my cheeks to my lips or my eyes to my lips. Like I just like the idea of everything being matchy matchy, that's just how I am. So what I'm trying to say is that I like the fact that my lids are really going with the rest of my face right now. So as you can see, I'm just running that bronzer along my bottom lash line and I'm using the Zoeva 230 Luxe Pencil Brush. And I'm really gonna smoke it out because I want this look to be nice and sultry. I've also just gone back into the Cyrus Umber shade from the Modern Renaissance palette. And I'm using the Sigma E30 pencil brush to run that along my lash line as well. But you know how the jaw goes. I'm running this much closer to my lashes so it makes my eyes a little more defined. Next up, I'm just going to curl my lashes and then give them a quick coat of the Colossal Big Shot Volume Express Mascara by Maybelline. Because I'm going to be applying falsies and I'm sure a lot of you guys can guess which ones I'm gonna be going with so yes as you can see I've got the Queen Bees on deck I swear these are like my go-to lashes I feel like they go with every single look especially with my eye shape they just suit my eyes so well so I'm sorry if I've been using them a lot but I just can't get me enough of my queen bees. I'm just gonna quickly darken up my lash line up top with the Wet n Wild Color Icon Coal Liner. I really like doing this because it makes the eyes look nice and defined, plus it makes the lashes look super full, which is what I love. I swear I always forget to apply something to the inner corner of my eyes. So I'm just taking the Laura Geller highlighter again, and I'm using the Zoeva 238 Luxe Precise Shader 
I'm just gonna pop that in the inner corner because it's gonna make my eyes look super poppin' and complete the look. While we're at it, we may as well apply some to the brow bone. Can't forget to do that. Now that the eyes are done, I'm going to finish off my face. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that highlighter again. Gilded Honey by Laura Geller is my all time favorite highlighter, well, one of them. And I'm just going to be applying it with the A23 Anastasia Beverly Hills highlighter brush. I love this brush. It honestly is the best brush when it comes to applying a highlighter. It just makes it look 10 times better than if you use any other brush. Something about it just works. Now for the lips, I feel like you could use any color you want. Any lip color would go with this kind of look, but because I'm basic, I'm just gonna keep it nude. So I'm using this lip liner from Inglot. This is their lip liner in number 854. And I'm just going to be lining my lips and filling them in with this. And then for the actual lipstick, I'm going to be using another Inglot product. This one is their lipstick in number 403. And the gloss that I'm using is the Dose of Colors Lip Gloss in Bellini. It's this beautiful peachy tone gloss with a really nice gold shimmer sheen throughout it, which looks absolutely stunning on the lips. So since this lip gloss is super pigmented, I'm just dabbing a little on the center of my lips and then blending it out with my finger. I'm just gonna quickly hit my face with some of the Mari Badescu facial spray, and then that'll be the completed look. Alrighty guys, this is the finished look. I ended up changing my earrings to these hoops, so I feel like I'm looking so extra right now with my hair, my hoops my crystal bralette, like just everything. <laughs> I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're still here at the end and you are not subscribed to my channel yet, you know what to do. Hit that red button down below so you can stay updated with all the videos I post. As always, I will leave a full list of all the products that I used throughout this video down below in the description box where you guys can also find all of the links to my social media accounts. So if you guys wanna catch up with me on Twitter, Instagram, or Snapchat, as well as Facebook. Don't, I forgot about that. I have a Facebook now. Then check out the description box below. With all that being said, I will chat to you guys down below in the comments. I hope you're all having a fabulous week and I will catch you all in my next video. Stay glowy.